Firstly, select the language of operation, then select whether you are testing directly into an EV charge point or via a tethered cable. Then select the main supplier for the charge point being tested, 230 volts for the UK or Europe, or 120 volt single phase for the US. Plug the EVCC300 into the EV charge point either directly or via a cable. Follow the on-screen instructions. Proceed and hold the test button for 2 seconds and release. Once the test is complete, the EVCC300 will give a proceed fault result. Connect a crop clip to an external grounded metalwork. If none is present, then this test is not required. Push the test button for two seconds and release. The result will be displayed with a pass tick or fail cross indicator. The pass fail limit is set to 0 0.5 ohms. Firstly select the RCD GFCI type that is used as a protective device on the EV charge point. Select the RCD GFCI angle you wish to test first. Press the test button for 2 seconds and release. On screen results will be voltage main supply, touch voltage and RCD GFCI trip time. When the test is complete, remember to reset the RCD GFCI. Then repeat the test at the 180 degree angle for the protective device. Remember to press the test button for 2 seconds and release. In RCD type section, scroll to the nuisance options and select the rating that is half of the RCD GFCI just tested. For example, a 30 milliamp RCD, select the 15 milliamp AC for nuisance. Select the angle to be tested at, either zero or 180 degrees. Press the test button for two seconds and release. Note the test results. Is the trip time sufficient to avoid unwanted tripping of the protected device? Don't forget to reset the RCD GFCI before continuing. For this test, you can scroll through the different CP codes and test to make sure the charge point will perform as it should in the correct CP state. A equals disconnected status, B equals connected status, C equals charging, D equals charging with ventilation. Only in C charging should you get any main supply results. Press the test button for two seconds and release. Test results will display the prox connection, the main supply, line to neutral, line to earth, neutral to earth, the main frequency, the LN polarity, the IMAX, the maximum current available from the charger, and the control pilot measurement. To simulate an error, E state, press the E state button. This will simulate an EV charge point error. 
Again, the results will reflect low voltages as the EV isn't working correctly. Pressing the test button for two seconds and release. Again, the test results will reflect the output as the EV charger, although ready to charge, is in a low output mode. For auto test, you will need to make some selections before allowing the test to run. First, select the RCD GFCI rating to test. Follow the on-screen instructions. Press the test button for two seconds and release. The test result will show quick pass tick or fail cross results. Don't forget to reset the RCD when it trips, otherwise the rest of the sequence will fail. Functional results means the EVCC300 will cycle through all CP states to make sure they are working correctly. When finished, select to reset the charge point back into standby mode.